did you know that in spite of all the great paid for content there is, you can actually learn coding and Python for free? Well, you can, and I'm going to teach you how. I've got about two minutes before it starts raining, so I'm going to try to do it in that time. So consider this your two minute roadmap to going from beginner to proficient in Python. The first thing you need to do is commit. This is going to take time and a lot of beginners don't realize quite what a challenge it is and they end up giving up and that's really sad. So to avoid falling into that pitfall, make sure that you know it's going to take you at least six months. Commit to six months of daily practice. That's the first thing. And the next thing, it's another bit of general advice, is you will encounter problems along the way. And when you do, learn how to solve them yourself. And by that I mean learn how to search for the solution to the problem that you have, because that's what programmers at all levels have to do. So you might as well start early and get into good habits. There's, no wrong, there's nothing wrong with asking someone for help, but don't do that straight away. Really try to find the answer yourself. Once you have those two things clear in your head, then it's time to install Python onto your system. And the first thing you should do is really research how best to do that. Go onto the Python official website and, and see what it says there. Read the documentation. Consider Anaconda. Read up on virtual environments and make a decision. And once you've done that and you have IPython installed onto your system, and you probably don't know what that is yet, but look it up, start using Python as a calculator just to familiarize yourself with it. And then learn about variables and the print function and strings and string methods. And all the while do lots and lots of exercises so that you can put into practice what you're learning. The wind's getting up now. I don't think I've got long. We're almost there. Conditionals, logic and loops. Here we go. I'm going to get wet. Uh, those are the next things that you need to learn. And then data types, that's lists and dictionaries. Learn list comprehensions too. Uh, and then you want to learn modules, functions, and object-oriented programming, all the while practicing as you go along. That's really important. And if you don't have any questions on which to practice, search for questions that you can you know, challenge yourself with. Once you get to that point, you'll be ready to start working on various different kinds of projects and you'll have a much better idea of the way forward. Now I have linked to two resources in the description. I think they are fabulous. I think they'll really help you and they're free. Oh, and one more thing. Once you're starting to feel confident, start reading other people's code. That's a really good way of learning. Good luck. Was that two minutes? It wasn't far off.